So which quarterback should you not draft for 2024 fantasy football? This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Uh, on the heels of my uh, video of the running backs that you should not draft for 2024, uh, I decided now to uh, take a look at the quarterbacks. I'm going to do the receivers and also the tight ends as well in terms of which quarterbacks I think you should not draft. And when I say do not draft, of course, everybody is draftable uh, at the, the correct price. But at, based on current ADPs, and also the outlook of the players, these are the, uh, the quarterbacks that I am fading almost everywhere based on their current levels of ADP and also uh, what I expect in their performance. First quarterback on the list, and I hate to say it because he helped win me a championship last year, and I've always been very fond of him, is Lamar Jackson. Right now, Lamar Jackson is QB4, number 42 off the board. And here's the problem with Lamar Jackson. Last season, Gus Edwards, uh, 13 rushing touchdowns on the ground. Every time the Ravens got close... Uh, and the new Todd Munkin offense, they ran Gus Edwards. They were not running Lamar Jackson around the goal line. And when you take that out of the equation, that really puts a big hurting on Jackson's prospective value. He's not that kind of passer like a Pat Mahomes or a Joe Burrow that can just sling it all over the field and compile a high number of touchdowns and yardage. That's never been part of the equation with Jackson. It's about the rushing yardage, which is still as good as it gets in the NFL, and the touchdowns, which have been very light over the last couple of years. And Todd Munkin just simply doesn't want to give him the ball around the goal line and risk injury. Now they bring in Derrick Henry, who's obviously a much better and more accomplished back than Gus Edwards. I think Derrick Henry, and I've said this multiple times, could lead the NFL in touchdowns period, no matter what the position, 15 on the ground would not shock me at all. They're going to give it to Henry. Why not? He's huge. He's powerful. He's still fast. Uh, that's the guy that, that, that they're going to give it to in close. So I think he's overpriced at QB4. Give me Anthony Richardson, who you can get 10 picks later. Uh, also another running quarterback who tends to get injured at uh, 52 overall. CJ Stroud at QB5. I mean, listen, I didn't think he was going to be this aggressively drafted. Right now he's QB5, 49 uh, off the board. And for C.J. Stroud, since he's not a running quarterback, now he can run, but he prefers to operate in the pocket, and that seems to be what the Texans wanted to do as well. It's very imperative that he throws 40 touchdowns. Now, he could with Nico Collins and Stephon Diggs and Tank Dell and Dalton Schultz. It's very much within the realm of possibility, but expecting 40 passing touchdowns from any quarterback is expecting a lot. Any injury or whatnot could eliminate that possibility altogether. So Stroud, it's a lot of pressure on him to get the yardage, to get the touchdowns. Give me Joe Burrow at uh, 61 overall, or even Jordan Love at 71 overall. Jordan Love has just as potent of a, a trail of wide receivers at his disposal. And of course, Joe Burrow has T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. So Either one of those guys I'd rather have instead of Stroud at that price. Brock Purdy, QB 11. He's going at pick uh, 100. Uh, this is one, the, the, the run heaviest team in the NFL last year. And he's very touchdown dependent talking about Brock Purdy. And he's another one who doesn't run. I'd much rather have Jared Goff, uh, even Aaron Rodgers, uh, Trevor Lawrence certainly than I would Brock Purdy, who's going higher than all of those guys. Uh, it's just because he doesn't run enough and I don't, and he's very touchdown dependent. And then finally, Justin Herbert, even at QB 17, pick 122, he's already injured and he's going to be in a, just an awful, awful offensive situation. And it's not an indictment on, a town, on his talent. He's just an uh, amazing talent, Justin Herbert is, but it's just a system. It's not good. Let me know what you guys think of these picks. Post in the comments below. Who are you fading uh, for 2024 fantasy football? And hit that subscribe button.